Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. This is what Isaiah, Amos' son, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days to come, the mountains of the Lord's house will be the highest of the mountains. It will be lifted above the hills. People will stream to it. Isaiah 21, verses 1 and 2. When we turn to Isaiah, we are in the genre of prophecy, not uncommon within the First Testament. Isaiah describes the prophecy as something that he saw, a series of visions concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Isaiah's words urge us to see with a hopeful imagination and to embody that vision in our own lives. Isaiah is sweeping as it relays the vision. For Jerusalem, there will be judgment, destruction, and exile. There will also be restoration and finally a reunification and reorganization. Isaiah uses vivid and colorful language to describe what the prophet sees. The rich words and imagery in Isaiah invites us to join in that prophetic seeing of God's justice and restoration, not only for this text, but for our entire journey toward Christmas. We approach God's scripture as the beautiful and unleavening words which empower and encourage us to embody God's hope for the world. A lot of the hesitation for people who have never encountered the church exists because they see Christians lacking the very things we say are foundational to the faith. Love, grace, justice, and peace. This season needs less words telling people about God's vision and more prophetic living. Let us pray. God, we dream of the day when all people will stream not to our churches, but to your house. Help us to be the connection between the words of scripture and the ways of justice and restoration for your people. Amen. Once again, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to this channel and please pass this devotion to five new people. God bless you and you have a great day.